Hey there, it's Jane again. Sorry about that. Um, my phone cut me off. I didn't have any more um, space on there. So while that video is uploading, I'm recording this one on an, another phone. Um, I just wanted to finish explaining about the hate that I'm going to kit up. Um, so I was saying I had, you know, yeah, well, it's this again, this one. If you're just watching this video, um, this one, Egyptian. What you call Egyptian Queen? It was a freebie on the website. Artwork by Jan Patrick Kresny. 88 colors. A bit too much for me to kit up at once. Um, so I have a piece of 28 count linen that I'm going to stitch it on. Hopefully it will work out. And I decided I'm going to start top left corner, went through all of the first page uh, and wrote, you know, marked the different symbols on here, if I do it like this, mark the different symbols, mark the ones where I already had the threads for, and then I just went column by column and wrote down this column uh, needs this color and this color and this color, you know. Um, actually, I have my my note right here. So column one is these. Column two, column three, column four, column five. I have when I I buy these, I will have all the colors for column five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. And that way. Um, I can buy the threads, you know, a little at a time, instead of buying everything at once. And it will be a bit more affordable for me um, to do it that way, because I can just buy some threads whenever I have a bit of money left over. Um, that's usually how I buy my craft supplies, um, whenever I can see that I have a bit of money left over, I can go buy a few colors or, you know, if I find something in the thrift store, um, and stuff like that. So, I know people usually kid up their heaven and earth, um, uh, you know when at 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 one time because of of dialogue uh, issues and things um and it can happen i know that but the good thing about the hate patterns is that it tells you not on this one on this one it actually tells you how many skeins you will need of each um, of each color so I will go check oh this color I'll just need 0 0.438 so I'll just need one skein but this one actually tells me that I will need 1.579 skeins so that's two skeins so I'll buy two skeins of that color at that one time, um, so there won't be an issue with the colors. Um, and as I mentioned, I pay about two dollars a skein. So if I had to kit up a hate, even this, it's not you know it's okay. It's pretty big, but not huge. Um, it's three fifty by three eleven. Um, so it, it would cost me 
more than a hundred dollars to kit up this heaven and earth um, even though I have a piece of fabric for it um, so yeah. I'm going to do it that way it might take me longer to do it and or I know it will because I'll have to go through each page as I get to it to see what colors I need for that page um, and I'll just have to wait until I can afford to buy the next batch of colors um, but it's okay it's fine it's a hate it will take a long time even though you, even if you can kit it up at one time it will take a long time to do it so I'm not bothered bothered about that um, and as I said, I'm going to do it on a 28 count linen um, and I'm going to do it one over one. Um, and hopefully I'll finish it instead of throwing it out of the window or something crazy like that. Um, so yeah, I will start kidding that up hopefully soon so I can get it started and I am actually thinking about doing it um, cross country page by page um, because I think that's that's the method that would work best with the way I'm kidding it up um, so I'll just check the progress just a second hmm. it looks like I'm going to struggle with the upload okay um, yeah and the way I for now at least have set this up is I just have all of the flusses in this bag and I have made some floss cards just you know cardstock and I punched I don't have a circular punch that is big enough um, so I just used a heart put the symbols on put the DMC number on and the threads that are already on here is because I have used them in the Harry Potter piece and this is what I have taken out of the skein so what I do is when I get to a color I will let's just say this color 3838 when I need some of this I will find the end I will pull out a length um, of the thread, put the skein back in here, take out the strand that I need and put the remaining, you know, on, on the flush card, mm, as I have here. So that's the remaining of the length that I pulled out and just a bit you know I haven't used I'll put that back on there um, I did the same thing with the Harry Potter house quests and I think it works at least for me so I don't bobbinate my threads and I don't put them in fluzz away bags and since I am a paper crafter I have a bunch of scraps of cardstock laying around. I had to punch. I, yeah, I'm just trying to do this as cheap as possible. Uh, again, because of my budget, um, and that I have to to yeah, just you know. Um, I think that's enough rambling. Oh, let me see. 
if I can find. Yeah, it's actually right here. The bundle of fabric I talked about. I just found it right here. Sorry for the noise. Well, and then I hit the camera. You can see it was actually quite a big bundle. There is some 14 count Ada in here. There is quite a big piece of this linen. And it's actually this one that I am thinking about doing the hate on. There is a piece of something else, actually two pieces of that one. I think it's 18 count or something like that. Um, a linen thingy as well. Got holes in it, it can be used for stitching. Then there's some more of this. 18 count that I used for the Harry Potter. Will it focus? No. Nope. Or it's the same fabric or similar to the one that I used on the Harry Potter. Then there's this piece that. Yeah, no. Nope. Someone has started something on it. Don't know what. So I actually think that this is the only piece in here that I'm not going to use for anything. More of this one. Mm. One that is more... Well, it don't show up quite accurate. This one is a bit more yellow. Um, so there's actually quite a bit of this type of fabric in here. Um, this one someone has started this piece on it. Um, I could actually just frog that part away and then maybe frame this bit over here. don't know what that is. Um, but then again quite a bit big piece and then this, and the, there's this is a huge piece, a piece of the fabric, um, and again it's that thick 18 count wool. It it feels like wool. Uh, that's actually one of the threads from it. So yeah, and I paid. 25 Danish krona, which is, you know, just just a bit less than four dollars for all of this. Um, for all of this fabric, so and as I as I mentioned, just this piece of of linen. Um, would have cost me, you know, twenty five, thirty dollars at least. And it's just it's quite stiff. Um but again it doesn't bother me. So I actually think that this one has been one of my best finds thrift store finds. Um so And I knocked the camera again. Sorry, hope you didn't get dizzy. Um, yeah, this will be a two-parter because I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to fuse videos together. Um, I'll try to get them up in the right order. And I'll put part one and part two um, on the videos. Um, so, yeah, don't have any more to share, nope, so I'll leave you with this, um, and thank you everyone for stopping by, for subscribing, for commenting, 
Um, oh yeah. Thank you, Taryn, once again for my beautiful threads and my way too cool socks. I have been using them. Um, I have barely taken them off long enough to get them washed <laughs> and then used them again. I love them. Um, they are just way too cool. Um, and the motorcycle pattern I actually won in a giveaway from Teresa Craig here on YouTube. Another fantastic stitcher. Um, I think it was in her last video she actually showed us uh, a hate that she had done of Cinderella. She is sitting in front of a uh, big clock and it's in in black and white. It's beautiful. Go watch it if you haven't already. Uh, Teresa Craig, fantastic. Taryn Volley, fantastic. Um, so head on over to their channels if you haven't been there already. And I have a cat that wants to come to the table. So I'll just leave you with this. Um, and again, thank you everyone for stopping by, for commenting, for subscribing. It means a whole lot to me. Um, and you can hear my cat just walk across the table. Uh, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, until the next time, hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, wonderful day, evening, morning, uh, afternoon, whenever you watch this. Um, have a fantastic weekend when that comes around. And I'll just see you next time. Bye.